Okay guys, it's time to um, get to doing some actual typing of text. Um, so what we're going to do is select the type tool, you can um, uh, just press the type tool if you wish. Um, if you get your character window down, um, then you can um, edit it directly. So um, I'm going to select the good dog font, which we installed before, um, which is that one there. Uh, we're going to make it 100, like so. Uh, everything else pretty much leave the same. Make it um, uh, all of that, and then we should be pretty much good to go. Um, what we also want to do is make the color um, similar to what we're using, nice yellow. Um, so to actually change the color directly into the um, uh, box here, you can hold the shift key and click. And then we just want to make it um, 254, 186, and 2. Four, 186 and 2 and there we go and so we're going to start typing I don't know why that went to 99 points we want to make it at 100 so we're clicking there and let's type in now it can be any words you like like so um, again Make the color. Let's change the color directly into it. So let's hold it down. And we go. Two fifty four. One eighty six. And two. Okay, so there we have it. Year eight written there. Once I go around and round and round in circles with my explanations, you should be able to figure it out. Okay, so next what we want to do, um, we've got um, our color there. Now we need to make sure that our piece of text is selected. So I've done that, selected my text, and it's sitting right there. Um, I want to then make it uh, have just outlines. So I can either go to type up in the top and then select create outlines or I can press shift control zero or shift control O for outlines and then it will do that. Make sure it's, uh, you know, it's got little, little extra um, handles on it. Uh, now what we want to do, um, now some nifty little things you can do with your um, panels here. Uh, so if you look at your layer board, you'll see that on layer one, if I open it up, we've now got a group here, which is our text box. And the thing we're working on, this is when you click in these side little panels, that's what will select the, um, the, the thing that you're working on. You won't be able to select the locked panels, even if you wanted to. Okay, because they're locked and you shouldn't be able to work on them. Um, but we're just working in this group panel here. So we've actually broken it apart and made it into a group and it comes up with the default sort of setting of group there. And now what we want to do is open what's called the Pathfinder panel. And I've got mine open, but you can go into Window and find Pathfinder to open it. Once that's open, uh, click on the Unite button. Now this is where you have a little, there's like two squares joined together. Um, so you make sure that this layer is selected here. Click, and then click on the Unite button. Like so. Now it's changed. Um, that's united all of the little layers that were in there. Uh, and then we want to um, hit um, Control 8 
or you can go to object compound path make. You basically want to make a compound path. Um, so control eight and it'll make a compound path. You'll notice up in here, it's changed to compound path. Okay, and now what we want to do is double click this and call it text, like so. So that layer is now called text. Now we need to name it because it's going to get a little confusing if we don't um, follow the next bits of instructions. Okay, so you should have your text box up there and all selected. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we're going to get our brush tool and um, we're going to focus on the brushes panel. So we've got the brushes panel here. So click B and you'll get brushes. Does that make sense? Good. 